Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. August is almost over, but I've still got some cool things for you. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Phil Seamark is at it again with games inside of Power BI, this time with a classic. Hangman. If you're not familiar with Hangman, Hangman is all about, you've got to guess the actual word and spell it out. And if you make mistakes, different parts of the Hangman appear. I remember doing this as a kid. We had a blast doing this. Phil decided to make this game with DAX functions. So the words you have to guess are DAX functions. So check out the blog post down below. You can download the PBIX. Phil also gave a call out to the folks over at Power BI Tips, where they help do some of the image work for this item. So be sure to check it out. Links as always down below. Tofik Abrams has a blog post looking at Python inside of Power BI, and this is the basics of Python. So if you don't know anything about Python, and I'll be the first to admit, I haven't really played with it all that much. So this is something I'm actually gonna be digging into, but this is a great blog post just to get started with Python and the ability to use this inside of Power BI. Make sure that you have the latest version of Power BI Desktop to get all the goodness. Python support is a preview feature inside of Power BI, so be sure to enable that as well in order to go through this blog post. I think it's a good read. If you're interested in doing Python inside of Power BI, this is a must. Check out the link down below for more details. Continuing on the Python train, the Power BI blog had a blog post on using Python inside of Power BI. So this is just kind of a tour and some examples of what you can use inside of Power BI to get going with Python for your reports. So again, if this is something you're interested in, this blog post alongside of the previous item with the basics of Python inside of Power BI, I think make a great combination to get you up and running and allow you to start playing with Python inside of Power BI. Links as always down in the description below, as well as all the links for today's items and some bonus items for you as well. Go check it out. We got the August update of the on-premises data gateway. As a reminder, you can use this gateway with Power BI, Power Apps, Flow, Azure Analysis Services, a bunch of items inside of the Power Platform. There weren't a lot of new items inside of this month's gateway release. However, there was a comment that if you are using the custom data connectors feature inside of the on-premises data gateway, you'll definitely wanna to update to the latest version for added support. This includes direct query capabilities over ODBC connections. So if you're doing that, you definitely want this version of the gateway. And as always, the mashup engine inside of the gateway was updated to the latest version. So make sure you are updating your on-premises data gateway to stay current. All right, let's talk about multi-geo support. Earlier this month, I mentioned multi-geo support was available for Power BI Premium and this last week, we got information that Multi-Geo is now supported for Power BI embedded resources within the Azure portal. So if you're doing Power BI embedded and you're purchasing your dedicated capacity through the Azure portal with the Power BI embedded resource, you can now configure the data region that that embedded resource is going to live inside of. So if your home region for your main tenant is in the US, but you need to have a Power BI embedded resource inside of a Europe region, you can now do that. Check out the links down below for all the details on how this works. All right, my favorite item this week, I've got to go with Hangman inside of Power BI that Phil Seamark did. I love the, the gaming or gamification of Power BI that he has continued to do. It's a lot of fun, so I'm going to go with that. But I'm going to pass this off to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below, or let me know if there was something I missed that you thought was awesome. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.